Hello everyone, we are excited to present Instant Policy, a method that enables teaching robots new skills instantly after just one or a few demonstrations. In this video, you can see a robot learning how to complete a novel task after just a single demonstration without needing any additional training. And even though it has never seen this task or these objects before, it is able to complete the demonstrated task with novel object configuration while also being robust to any external disturbances or perturbations. We achieve this using in-context imitation learning, where expert demonstrations which define the task are used as input to the model. This allows for instantaneous policy acquisition without any additional training, and also circumvents the need for the model to memorize all possible tasks within its weights. In-context imitation learning has three main components that need to be seamlessly integrated to tackle this problem efficiently. These components are the provided demonstrations, current state of the environment, and future robot actions. For the current state representation, view segmented point clouds which we process with geometry-aware encoder and construct a graph representation that fully captures the state of the environment and the robot at the current time step, while the sequence of such graphs can be used to represent a complete demonstration trajectory or future actions. When we combine all components of in-context imitation learning, we get a single graph that jointly represents the provided demonstrations or the context, current observation, and future actions in a structured and unified way. Here you can see two demonstrations with three waypoints each defining the context on the left, current observation in the middle, and future actions on the right. Using such a graph representation, we turn in-context imitation learning into a graph generation problem by employing a graph-based diffusion model. During training, such a model receives a graph with noise added to the part of the graph representing the actions and learns to subtract it directly in the graph space. At test time, we can then sample actions from a normal distribution and iteratively refine them directly in the graph space using this learned diffusion process until they represent the desired actions, in this case, moving towards the paper roll. As our training data, we use what we call pseudo-demonstrations. These are procedurally generated trajectories in simulation, where each set of trajectories, even though different, semantically perform the same type of movements relative to the objects in the scene. Thus, for training our in-context model, we can use a subset of these trajectories performing the same pseudo-tasks to define context while inferring actions from the other ones. Note that these pseudo-demonstrations don't need to be dynamically or even kinematically feasible as long as they are consistent, because at test time we'll have proper demonstrations that define real tasks. Putting all of these things together, we achieve instantaneous policy acquisition and teach robots various new skills quickly and efficiently. Even though the model has never seen the objects or the tasks shown here before, it is able to successfully complete it after just one demonstration. Also, it is quite robust to any external disturbances as the model always looks back at the provided demonstrations and the current observation, understands the stage of the task and acts accordingly. While in previous examples, we taught robots how to perform tasks using the same objects as in the provided demonstrations, the fact that our representation can inherently handle an arbitrary number of demonstrations as the context leads to a natural generalization to novel object geometries. Here you can see me providing a demonstration of how to open a big box, and when the model is deployed using a medium-sized box, it fails. In this case, the information provided in the context is insufficient to disambiguate the task and how it should be solved. However, if we add more demonstrations to the context, now the context includes two demonstrations, one with a big box and one with a small box, the model can selectively aggregate relevant information from the context, disambiguate the task, and successfully complete it. Our method also allows us to provide demonstrations that define the context using one embodiment, for example using our hands, and instantly deploy the model on a different embodiment using the exact same model as before. Finally, using a small language annotated dataset and a contrastive objective, we were also able to adapt our model to work with language commands, circumventing the need for demonstrations altogether. For more information, please read our paper and visit our project webpage. Thank you for your attention.